Well, it's a great field of race cars. We're so happy you're with us here on TNN Sports. Don't forget, in two weeks, we'll be with you from the Eagle Nationals in Nebraska. That's June 22nd. But now, time to put the capper on the Channel Lock Challenge. Oh, man, look at that. Guys slip, slip, slapping their tanks back there. They're about banging wheels. Here's the challenge up front. Swindell and Shepard. Shepard from putting a slide job on him. This is 30 laps, and we're working lap number two. The shot off the back of the car there, but generally it's not that. Now, there are, there are times it is bad, but I don't think tonight it's uh, too bad for these drivers. Working around the 83, putting a lap on Saldana. Still, the battle for the lead is a dandy. Still riding with Shepard. And he must have got it. He's going to oh, make the move, and here comes the slide move again what? from Sammy. He had him for a second. What happened there? Shepard slid up in front of Sammy, and Sammy must have turned it and drove right back underneath him on the bottom. Now you see Sammy moving to the bottom. See, he doesn't want Shepard to do that again. But look at Sammy running sideways right there. Lost a lot of momentum. Shepard passed him down the back straight. You can see Sammy get the car sideways. And folks, look who's coming in behind them. Here comes Donnie Schatz. Here comes Schatz. And here comes Schaefer. Also closing in. And caution is on the speedway. There's Greg Hodnett. He has some problems bringing out the caution from Roger Slack. So lap number 13. So 12 complete. And here we go. Roger Slack with the green. And we'll ride with Jeff Shepard on the start. You could tell he went to the bottom of the track not knowing where Sammy Swindell was at. He didn't want Sammy to put that slide job on him. Shepard looking real good at this point. Now Sammy Boyd's reversed. Sammy kind of running all over the racetrack trying to find a line. Shots fell falling back just a little bit. Oh, boy, that's going to be close. Going to be close here at the stripe as they go by Billy Wilburn's car. You saw Billy slowing on the racetrack. And we'll tell you, Steve Kinzer is all the way up to eighth now, folks, as Shepard and Swindell continue their battle for the lead. I tell you, Shepard was a real gentleman there. He left Sammy enough room on the, back, on the outside of the back straightaway. Gave Sammy room to get a run on him down the back straightaway. And Sammy still couldn't get it done. That's cheering his driver on. Shepard with Guy Forbrook. Looking on, here comes Swindell again. Can't quite jump on it to get the pass. Shepard going in low, coming out high, trying to put a block on Sammy. And you notice there's nobody behind them. They've now pulled away by two seconds from Schaefer. Well, who that hurt was Donnie Schatz because yeah. he was really coming. I think he was up to third. He was really coming before that uh, yellow came out. Whether his tires sealed over, just cooled off enough what happened, I don't know, but he's out of the picture right now. One of the unique factors here at Bristol, this is such a big racetrack as far as height is concerned. The lights are so high that they really amplifies the dust that's flying around here. As you see the battle for the lead, still Shepard and Swindell. Man, they were so close coming out of that corner. Closing in on Hot Net and others as they've caught the tail end of the field yet again. Ten laps to go in the A-Main. For those new to the sport, these open wheel cars, if they just touch wheels at these speeds, it's disastrous. These cars will start flipping. Running up over each other's wheels is not the thing you want to do. No, they'll, they'll come down somewhere near Kingsport if they touch. Oh, boy, Shepard doesn't want to do that too much. He's nope. Sliding up across, he's grabbed Here a bunch of Sammy and Swindell slides for the lead. But coming right back is Shepard to the inside. Not enough. Shepard went in low and sliding up across the, the banking like that. Killed his momentum and Sammy was able to get by. Shepard from Maryland. Swindell from right here in Tennessee. Oh, man. They about hit the again. Lanes. Just about touching again Sam with five to go. Yeah, she, boy, she, he had to really get on the brakes there. Shepard really had to get on the brakes. Sammy come up in, beside him, and you could see the car drop. The nose of the drop on the front end. He had to tap, stab the brake a little bit, getting in the corner. And, folks, though he's not going to win it, Steve Kinzer is up to fourth. 
He's running behind these guys by a goodly distance, but we just need to keep you up to date on that. He's now in fourth. This was that heavyweight bout that we promised when we signed on the air way back at 9 o'clock Eastern time. Just happens to be two different combatants as neither Lasaski at this point nor Swindell going head to head, but indeed Swindell and Shepard. Shepard's getting loose. I don't know if we talked about the tires being hot and stuff. It's almost like he needs to stay around the top possibly and try to get back on the back bumper, Sammy, before he tries a slide job. Only a couple laps to go, as you see there. He's running out of time. White flag for Sammy Swindell. Trying to back up his win, and he nearly loses it going through the corner. With the channel lock colors emblazoned on his race car. He won here last year. He backs it up in 2001. Celebration on the channel lock rig. In just a moment, what a race here at the Bristol Motor Speedway from Cordova, Tennessee. Sammy Swindell and pulls I'm, down the win. And I'm sure Sammy's thinking right now, take that, everybody. Uh-huh. That's Sam Swindell, his dad right there on Sammy's left. His wife, Amy. <laughs> ah, there you go. That's about as much emotion you know, as I've ever seen out of Sammy I was Swindell. Just going to say that. You don't see that kind of emotion out of Sammy Swindell. Right now, we go downstairs, victory lane. Dave Argabright with Sammy Swindell. Sammy, outstanding win, hard fought win. You know, you come here two years in a row and you win. Just a tinge of controversy. Is that an extra motivation for you? No, we can do without that. You know, they kind of bring that on. You know, but uh, it doesn't matter. We're sitting here at the end with this uh, channel lock fan still stealth, you know, so um, had a great run and uh, that was a lot of fun. You know, we rode motorcycles today with uh, Jeff Shepard through the mountains and uh, we were on the Boss Hoss bikes and he had to run the Screaming Eagle, so he had to run last all day. So uh, need to let him lead a little bit, but uh, we just want to be out front there at the end, and uh, the whole Channel Lock team did a great job, and uh, we were able to pull it off again, you know, be there at the end. You know, it's a great win, and I know how excited you are, but when you've spent the day with a friend like that and you beat him this close of a race, does your heart go out to him just a little bit? No. <laughs> no, that was fun. As You know, if he would beat me, that would have been fine. But, uh, you know, when you when you got respect and you can race with somebody that close that long, uh, that, that's a lot of fun. So uh, uh, we'll get back out here in a couple weeks, and maybe I'll let him run out front on the bike for a bit. But uh, we had a great time. It was a lot of fun, and um, everything went good. The whole crew, everybody did a great job. The had an awesome racetrack and uh, it's a great time. He's got a big second place finisher, Jeff Shepard. Uh, Jeff, that was a heck of a race. Now, are you content with this? Or no, I, I know you want to be out there. Absolutely not. I mean, it was just too close. I mean, it was a, it was a lot of fun racing, but uh, I didn't win. I just understood I didn't win. With about three or four laps to go in turns one and two, you got real loose, drifted up the track. Was that the difference? Well, yeah, I mean, we got we got close a whole bunch of times. It's a lot of fun racing like that, not touching. I mean, he kind of, you know, kind of put a little move on me getting into one, and it just took the air off the front of my car and made me slide high. And this, this deal here, you can draft here. It's just like Winston Cup racing. You get him behind the draft. I did it. That's how I slingshot him by him a couple times in three. I get him down a back shoot. It pull me about 300 RPMs faster and just dive right by him. It's a lot of fun, but damn it. I just, this is not good. This isn't good. Well, it is pretty good. Though. How, are supposed, <laughs> how are you supposed to keep sponsors and, and have everybody be happy with you when you don't win? Ah! Oh. You got to love the energy that Jeff Shepard brings to a racetrack.